What's up everybody, this is Joshua Casper. Welcome to a quick walkthrough of the Human Traffic DMB meme generator. It's essentially just this clip from Human Traffic, which came out a while ago, I think in the 90s, and was like a cult classic for us ravers back in the 90s. And there's just this part where this guy is in a record shop and he's playing records for his customers and they're asking for drum and bass and they play it and then they go wild in the record shop. So it's all cropped for you. It's a small clip. The download size is like 50 megabytes. It's HD. And there's a little marker right here that says this is where you want your drop to be. First drop of the track goes here. So you want to hold down shift and move it until it clicks right here. And then when you have a, a piece of audio, you want to line it up with that, that first one drop of the track right here. There is a little bit of time in between um, when he drops the needle on the record over here and when the, the track comes in, maybe a swoosh or something like that. Just keep that in mind when you're doing it. I made this in Adobe CC. If you have an earlier version, you're going to have to kind of do it by ear. And also you won't have this... Uh, lower thirds where you can put the name of the artist and the name of the track. Okay, also in the download folder for those that have Ableton Live, I put the Ableton Live folder where I have the audio of the dialogue before the music comes in and I also put a couple of markers to show where the drop needs to happen. Uh, the track should be about 87 BPM. If it's not, you should warp it first and then bring it into this project or warp it inside of the project, but just make sure everything is uh, 87 BPM and this is where the clip inside of After Effects will end so you want to make sure that the piece that you have fits in between those two markers right there so that's pretty important okay so other than that the only other thing you need to do is edit the name uh, lower thirds here you just put the name of the artist here and the name of the track down here and uh, go ahead and render it that's pretty much it super easy super fun and it's a good way to get things nostalgic for us people that were born <laughs> or alive in the 90s that remember this and even for people that weren't or don't remember this movie or never got a chance to see it it's just a really unique way to kind of promo your new tune anyway i hope that helps somebody we'll see you next time peace